Phoenix, I take it you guys knew that Phoenix had picked up a point, so. Yeah, they were nice enough to show us that on the big screen out there. Um, two points, yeah, that's, that's all we're looking for right now. Talk about just how you guys played tonight. You had one nothing, two to one leads, but it almost slipped away there until uh, the shootout situation. Yeah, it was, uh, it was a tight game. I thought they played really well. Um, we had a we had a really good start. We were all over them for you know, maybe the first ten minutes, and they uh, they got to their game pretty good tonight. They were throwing everything deep and forechecking hard, and their D were really involved in the forecheck and kind of made it tough on us for a little bit, but I thought we, we managed it well and uh, tried to keep them to the outside as much as possible. Cardi made some big saves, and, you know, some games are going to be like that where they're tight like that, and you just got to keep sticking with it and be smart, and, and uh, you know, we'll get the result more often than not. Take us through your goal. Uh, great play by Fitz, pull up and hit the second wave. We talked about that a lot, getting our D evolved and, and the forwards consciously kind of looking for us back there. So it's a uh, great play by him. And then Chase Sun opens up for one timer and their D has to go over to him and he's trying to make a shot. Lucky enough it went in. Uh, they stepped up the pressure in the second period. The second periods have been an issue recently. Mm -hmm. Is there something? I don't know. Maybe I mean we've had we've had great starts. You know, a lot of these games recently, and then the second we've kind of slowed down a bit. Whether it's you know, having a lead and then kind of maybe not going as hard as we were or whatnot. But uh, I don't know. Sometimes it's just coincidence that you have bad periods like that. And don't look too much into it. Talk about uh, tomorrow night. Uh, you're down one nothing to start tomorrow night. What's, yeah. what's the mindset? But you do get to play 60 minutes. Yeah, that's. I mean. We're starting out like it's a zero-zero game. We're gonna go out and do what we do, and do what we have to do to be successful. And uh, you know, the fact that we're down one nothing already doesn't really affect the way we need to play the game. You really have a team like this where you have to be up every night to get into the playoffs, rather than having the playoffs already played. Maybe going into the flat. Sorry, I, I didn't catch the first part of that. Okay. Really, it would be like this for every every night matters going down the stretch. Or like to have the playoffs wrapped up. Well, I'm, ideally, you'd probably like to have it wrapped up. But <laughs> uh, no, it's good. It's good to have these intense games where you, you know you need to win and you need to get points. You need to play a certain way because that's the way playoffs are going to be. And you know we just got to keep grinding away here and, and stick with our game. And you know let the chips fall where they may. You were talking about scoreboard watching a moment ago. It was about 45 seconds apart when Jamie Benn put you ahead 2-1, to one, and then Phoenix lost their game in overtime. Oh, yeah? Really bang, bang, yeah. Yeah, wow. Well, that's, uh, yeah, I don't know. I don't know what to really say about that, but, uh, yeah, it's funny. Congrats on the win, sir. Thanks, appreciate it. Thanks, guys. I have a party.